Welcome back to The Soulful Cook, where I share with you some of my favorite vegan recipes. Today we're going to be making one of my all-time favorite desserts, a vegan brownie trifle. Now this trifle is layered with a super fudgy brownie, chocolate pudding, and a homemade coconut whipped cream. Now you can serve this in one big trifle dish or you can serve them individually like I have in small little jars or small little bowls. Now this recipe is made gluten free and it's also made without adding any refined sugar. If you prefer the written version of this recipe, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. You can also view it in the description box below. Everything I used in this video is linked down below and just remember anytime you do purchase from those links, you are supporting this channel in a huge way which will only help us share even more content with you. Now before we jump to the recipe, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Alright, let's make some brownie trifle. Here's everything you're going to need to get started. In a medium saucepan with the heat turned off, we're going to add a fourth cup of cornstarch, one fourth cup of cocoa or cacao powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. We're going to start off only with our dry ingredients. So now I'm just going to take a whisk and I'm just going to combine everything together so nothing is lumpy and the cocoa or cacao and the cornstarch are combined. Now for our wet ingredients, we're going to go in with half a cup of maple syrup or agave. You can also use half a cup of date paste. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or you can use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm adding one tablespoon of instant coffee. This will really bring out that chocolate flavor. And then I'm gonna add two and a half cups of almond milk, but you can really use any non-dairy milk of your choice. So with the heat still turned off, I'm just gonna mix everything until it's nice and smooth. And the wet ingredients are completely combined and well incorporated into the dry ingredients. So as you can see, it's fully incorporated. So I've turned the heat on and I'm just gonna cook it until it's nice and thick. And you wanna make sure you continuously mix because you don't want your cornstarch to start to form lumps. So keep mixing until you've reached your desired consistency. Make sure you scrape all the bottom so you don't miss any lumps. And then as soon as you're done, you're gonna remove it from heat. So now we're going to transfer that to the fridge and let it cool down until we're ready to use it. Now we're going to go ahead and make our brownie and here's everything you're going to need. In a bowl we're going to add in two tablespoons of vegan butter. Now this is completely optional. If you want to keep this oil free then keep the butter out. We're gonna add a fourth cup of unsweetened applesauce. Just make sure it is unsweetened. Two tablespoons of non-dairy milk. 
And then I'm gonna mix that until everything is well combined. And while it's mixing, I'm gonna add in my one cup of coconut sugar and then mix that until everything is fully incorporated. So now I'm going to add in half a cup of melted vegan chocolate chips. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Two tablespoons of flax meal plus six tablespoons of chilled coffee. And then I'm going to mix that until everything is well combined. So now I'm going to add in my 3 fourths cup of gluten-free flour a little at a time mixed with a fourth cup of cocoa powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm going to mix that on low and gradually increase the speed until everything is well incorporated. Now I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of non-dairy milk and then the rest of my gluten-free baking flour. And then we're gonna mix that until everything is well incorporated. So now we're gonna transfer this to a square baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. And then you just wanna make sure you even out the edges and smooth the top. And then we're going to pop that in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. So now we're going to assemble our trifle. And I like to use a clear bowl. You can also use a clear mason jar. Anything works. I'm just going to tear apart two brownie pieces that have been cut into squares. And then the second layer is going to be our vegan pudding that has been chilling in the fridge. And you want to put a lot of that. And then right on top, we're just gonna add in one scoop of our homemade coconut whipped cream. You can also use store-bought, either one works. And then just for some added decor and dimension, I'm just crumbling up some brownie pieces and adding that on top. And enjoy. And there you have it, vegan brownie trifle. If you're looking for more recipes like this one, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you do get notified every time I post a new video. If you ended up trying this recipe or any others, don't forget to tag at the Soulful Cook so I can check them out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,